just a real quick overview. Um, on a dog's nails, uh, each one has a blood vessel and a nerve inside their nail. It's called the quick, and that's what you don't wanna hit when you're clipping or trimming your dog's nails. For smaller dogs, I tend to prefer these that are shorter, closer to your fingers, so that you have more control over where you're clipping. Um, because it's closer to your hand, it's not angled. Another option is using something like a Dremel. With a clip, it's an aggressive cut, and so you really wanna make sure you're not getting too close to that quick. The Dremel, if you're worried about it, is an easier way to slowly get closer because it's slowly filing off that nail. This thing makes a noise. Um, so the best thing to do is, before you need to trim your dog's nail, get your Dremel and actually turn it on so it makes this vibrating noise, and you wanna get your dog used to this. So you wanna have it in your hand, you wanna to touch without dremeling, just touch their paws. See how he's not crazy about it, but I'm gonna let him see it in a safe way. I'm not showing him the, the dremel end, I'm just letting him check it out, touching his paws. Okay, nothing happened, great, we turn it off, done. Desensitizing the dog to the dremel is great. Then what I'm gonna do with Indy is I'm gonna put him on his back like this. Good boy, I'm gonna give him a lot of praise. I'm gonna turn on this Dremel, good. And I'm just going to touch, Why? good. Okay, so as you Dremel down, can you see that in the center of that nail, it's white? So once you start to see that white spot, that's your quick. So if you're not seeing that yet, then you can keep Dremeling. But once you start to see that, you wanna be very careful because that, that is your quick starting to show and it's right in the center of the nail, um, and that's your cue to kind of start slowing down, good boy, and not do too much more. They're gonna struggle, they don't like it, it's uncomfortable, but the thing is, it's safe for your dog to trim their nails because it can cause arthritis if the nails grow too long and start pushing up on the dog's bone. So it's in their best interest. Another thing you can do with your partner or spouse or roommate is um, have them get a spoonful of peanut butter or something really enticing and have the dog be licking that while you pick up the nails and do the nails. Um, so that's another option and something that might work for you. And if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below.